Hey everybody, this is Jerry. Um, today I'm gonna be going through a couple of uh, hotkeys and a little quick tip for people who like to do A B comparisons, either um, before and after, or um, whether or not they like this effect um, over the other effects. You know, stuff like that. But um, it's pretty easy uh, in Pro Tools, at least. Um, and it's um just something i see overlooked a lot um it's a really simple little set of hotkeys and stuff and let's just get straight into it all right so here we have a session from uh, a rapper called scratch um really cool guy uh check him out uh right now i'm in the middle of uh doing a mix for this song um, since he's allowed me to use it for mixing tutorials and stuff. So, one issue that I notice people do when they want to A-B two different tracks is they'll solo it, click play, unsolo as quick as they can, and then solo the other track. That might work great for some people, but for most people that I know of, that causes an issue where your ear's memory will slightly get changed or reset because, for one thing, both tracks will start being played at the same time or the music in the background will play and you'll lose that sense of what once was. So I'm going to show you an example of that right now, all right? I'm still renegade with a place to stay in a bed of flames. Offer sacrifice to burn the remains. Contra with the spirits of the damned that is. I don't give a damn, you ain't saving shit. My mind's so sick. I'm loading clips over crucifix and candlesticks. These voices. Alright, so um one thing you may or may not have noticed is this vocal is quieter than this one. You can obviously see it here, but um like this one's quieter than this one, but you know, this one has a distortion on it, so it sounds louder and fuller than this one, which just has a delay and kind of telephone effect. Um, this is actually just for a. I'm still renegade with a place to stay in a bed of flames. Offer sacrifice. This was actually mono, and I just did that to give it a weird stereo feel, and I just crushed it and telephoned it. Anyway, so. Um, the whole thing was you don't really hear or remember the effect very well because the music kind of messes with it, right? So if you actually do a proper AB with these hotkeys, which is shift S toggles, uh, solo on selected track. So if you have one track that's not soloed and the other one is. Shift S will um, toggle it like this. Um, you also have Shift M for mute, and it'll do the same thing. Shift R is record arm. Um, select a track. I'm not going to do that right now because there's no input, but if there was. Um, and yeah, and that is if you want to see something with or without or an AB, it'd be perfect. So let us, let me show you. It'd be like this instead. I'm still renegade with a place to stay in a bed of flames. Offer sacrifice to burn the remains. Contra with the spirit to the damn that is. I don't give a damn, you ain't saving shit. My mind's so sick, I'm loading clips. So, so yeah, that's it. Um, really quick, really easy, really simple. Um, now if you notice here, you might wonder why this has a delay and this has a plate. It's just because, um, I find reverb is kind of thicker and fuller, and uh, this was more of an aggressive, like this vocal I thought should be more aggressive, more thicker, so I put distortion and sent it to a plate reverb and then filtered out, you know, the low lows and some of the highs to, uh, you know, help it fit, but I thought that sounded thicker than just doing a tube delay. Um... So yeah, um, normally I will do the delay, but I did, I believe, a really short reverb on this one. It was pretty short. Um, 
Um, also, another thing I would highly recommend people do is name their buses. Um, I see this a lot of times. People don't um, name their outputs, inputs, or their buses, and they just have bus one through whatever. Or they'll have um, parallel 50, you know, like 50 different parallel tracks and nothing else. Um, I find it's hectic. You'll forget sometimes. And if they're named and ordered properly, it's so much easier to go through. Um, you know, you'll know where everything is. Um, also in Pro Tools, um, if you do 1-2, um, when you do a mono send, it actually has plate 1, plate 2. Now, if you do um, left or right, it does this. See, FX bus 1.L, 1 dot right. So... For this, I don't really care because these are buses and they're never going to be sent mono. But for stuff like this, sometimes I want a mono plate for some weird reason. Or for springs. Oftentimes, my spring is mono. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And um, really quickly, for IO setup, you just need to go here into, uh, I think it was setup. IO, let me check again. I just did that super quick. Set up IO. You go into your bus, input, output, and name them. And tab actually goes to the next one. See? So you can just easily enter them all in. Um, I like this. I think it really helps and really works. And yeah. I mean, you can do that with your inserts and mic pre's if you have them. I'm not. This IO setup doesn't have the inserts, so... This is a session where I'm not using uh, any hardware. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. See if you guys want anything else or, you know.